In this week's tip, I wanted to give a quick update on what's going on in the Ubuntu world. Ubuntu 8.04 Hardy Heron was released in the spring, and Ubuntu has been slowly becoming kind of the face of Linux, I guess you could say. And many companies have been able to take Ubuntu and put on their own face on top of the Ubuntu operating system. And one of those companies is a company called GOS. GOS is a company that started just last year and actually had a huge debut because they installed their operating system on all of the Everix $199 PCs that Walmart sold last year and could not keep in stock. I don't believe they sell it anymore. But this is their new version, a much prettier, more, I think, refined version of their operating system. They call it GOS for good OS. And again, it's an Ubuntu derivative. This is what the, the default desktop looks like. They've got a nice little launch bar down here at the bottom. And when you hover on it, it bounces around a la a Macintosh. So it's very cool. The default buttons are Firefox, Gmail, the Google Calendar and Google Documents. Then they have Skype here and uh, the OpenOffice open office programs over here. Are on the OpenOffice.org offers a complete free package for all operating systems that is compatible with Microsoft Office. You can create and open Microsoft Office documents, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. The other thing is, of course, Firefox is the browser choice of Linux. comes automatically installed with all Ubuntu installations. GOS has installed a Google search on top of their home page. Their home page actually looks like this at thinkgos.com. Their newest version of their operating system is called Gadgets. And this is the beta version. It's supposed to come out later uh, this year. And one kind of unique thing is they're including a software called Wine, W-I-N-E. And that is a software that's being developed, or it has been developed for Linux, that allows you to run Windows programs in the Linux environment. Exciting, they they make use of all these gadgets. I've taken off some of them on the desktop, but I've got the calculator gadget here. This is again a Google product, and I can quickly bring that up and then use it. When I double click on the title of the gadget, it minimizes it to a small little bar here on the desktop, and I can drag that around and put it anywhere I want. If I wanted to close that, click on the X little calendar icon here that's attached to the Google Calendar. I can see the dates, quickly rifle through and find a date that I want. And if I want to get to my Google Calendar, click on a time there. Because it's part of Ubuntu, it comes with all kinds of programs, including GIMP. GIMP is the open source Photoshop, if you will. It comes with lots of games. There's chess. If you click on the GOS icon here in the upper left, it's kind of like a start button. And they've got all kinds of different accessories, tons of games automatically installed, including a lot of my clients like Mahjong, they like Sudoku, and it's got Blackjack, and of course, Solitaire is in there as well. Here's the Google Documents. If you click on Google Documents, it will automatically bring you into the Google Docs and let you work with any documents you have saved at the Google Docs. But it's pretty exciting. A lot of good things happening here in the Ubuntu world. And uh, GOS, I think, is making some nice strides in making a very simple operating system that's secure but gives you a lot of functionality. So somebody who doesn't want all of the complexity of an operating system can get by with just what's here on the bar. Or if someone wants to add more and be able to customize the operating system even more, all of the Ubuntu flexibility is lying underneath the GOS desktop. I think Windows has a lot to worry about with products like this coming out from Think GOS. And the fact that it's secure, easy to use, pretty to look at, fast as I'll get out. This is running in a virtual machine on my computer with very little RAM. And everything pops around and opens up very quickly because they've made it lean and mean. And it runs extremely well. I think Windows needs to be a little bit worried. And I think it's a fun operating system for people to work with. And being so that it runs on older computers and is free, there's not much not to like about it.